The medal is helping pave a road towards student success. WDRB's Darby Bean shows us how a program at Elizabethtown Community and Technical College is training students to get their CDLs. It's sure to catch your attention. This is the truck that students will now be driving as they train to get their CDL and hit the road. This is cool. There's, there's a cool factor when Metallica is one of your partners. Elizabethtown Community and Technical College is putting the pedal to the metal, thanks in part to heavy metal band Metallica, to train students to get their CDL. Knowing that they're doing a job that America needs. You know, this Commonwealth of Kentucky needs CDL drivers to address this supply chain problem. Through the Metallica Scholars Initiative, ECTC students can get scholarships for certain career fields. Metallica scholars like Christopher Pollock, now a proud CDL holder. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm doing a great responsibility and being a part of uh, the transportation and, and hauling. This design revealed Friday shows off the school's Wherever I May Roam Truck Driving Academy. According to ECTC, the program has a 100% pass rate on the CDL exam and graduates have jobs lined up. Three of the graduated, graduates you announced today are driving for me right now. Experts say there's a huge need for truck drivers across the country, including right here in Kentucky. It's, it's very difficult. I've never seen it um, anywhere near this bad. It's, it's, it's a real struggle. ECTC hopes to be part of the solution. Its CDL program has existed for about three years, but especially with the pandemic, it's taken some time to really get the wheels rolling. And now it's taking off. Being able to train this workforce locally means that they will address local needs. The program includes several weeks in the classroom with hands-on experience and practice time behind the wheel. The next training session here at ECTC begins in January. There are only a few spots left in that class. Reporting in Elizabethtown, Darby Bean, WDRP News.